What's up, buddy people, and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a video that I did last year that you guys seem to really enjoy because it's sassy and it's spunky and it's just telling it like it is. So today we are doing a Trends I Hope Die 2018 video. So this is just going to be beauty trends. I would also like to talk about more serious things I think should die and should end with 2018 videos. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to do that or not because I think it would get real deep real fast and it wouldn't be as fun, but I think it would be very thought provoking and I don't know, it's just like a different side of me that you don't always see. So I feel like I should do the stupid little disclaimer that I also hope stays in 2018, which is we don't have to like the same things. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean you don't have to like it and vice versa. We can have different opinions, blah, blah, blah. You know, stuff that should be common sense, but for some people, it just isn't. So the first thing I hope stays in 2018 is the idea of matte everything. Matte liquid lipsticks, matte eyes, matte face, matte this, matte that. Can we not have a little bit of shine, people? I just, I don't agree with the idea of making it out to be like shine and hydration and glow and oil are a bad thing. My biggest thing is the matte liquid lipstick thing, like the, the matte lip trend. That is what I hope stays in 2018 the most because whoever said that matte lips are comfortable? No one. They're all drying as hell. They all make you look like you have cat butthole lips. They emphasize all the lines on your lips. They make your lips look old. They stay on forever. Yeah, that's a plus, but you know what? I'd rather my lips look glossy and juicy and plump and supple instead of just like, also a mattified face like i understand if you're oily you don't like oil but oil is healthy it's a good thing when it builds up right here and it's not like an overall glowy look it it's a nuisance i understand that but it's also gonna help you with aging like if you have oily skin you need to appreciate it because you're not gonna get wrinkles as fast your skin's gonna be beautiful and you're gonna lose a lot of that oil as you age people with dry skin would crave to have oiliness like they would crave to have that shine and that glow like that sweaty look you need to stop taking advantage of it. And something that I really hate for myself in particular is like a matte foundation or matte cheek products with a highlight, like with a shimmery, frosty highlight. That is the worst combination in the history of makeup. Actually, there's a lot more. I'm just exaggerating, but still, matte needs to go. Trend number two that I hope dies is the Instagram brow. There's just nothing appealing to me about this Instagram brow. So basically what it is, if you don't know, is a super carved out brow where it's just nothing but pomade and it's just, it's completely artificial. Like there's nothing natural about it, which I know that's not the goal, obviously. I was actually watching a tutorial on Instagram the other day of someone filling in their brows and I was literally like yelling out loud, like stop, okay, stop, okay, that's good, stop. They just kept going and going and filling it in darker and darker and then they carved it out. And that's when I was just like, Ugh! which brings me to trend number three that I really hope dies with 2018. And that is carving out your brows with concealer. This is the ugliest thing ever. Who are you modeling after? Nobody's brows look like that. So when you put lightness around something that's dark, it makes that dark thing pop out. So it makes it look like your brows are like, popping out at you. And I don't really know why that's a good illusion to have, like why someone would want that. So I really hope that we just get into filling in sparse areas instead of having to go through all the pomades that are just number one, six shades darker than our actual hair color and brow color, like that's just not attractive. But also just carving out your brows is not a good look in my humble opinion, of course. So number four is what I call the Instagram winged liner or the social media winged liner, which is basically a super dramatic wing that goes out to here that's really thick and it's made with like gel liner or liquid liner. And I do wanna pop up a picture so you know what I'm talking about so that you can have a visual. Again, I'm not gonna credit this person just because I don't wanna embarrass them or just be mean in any way. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. I'm just trying to give you an illustration of what I'm talking about. I do want to point out that a lot of these things I'll be talking about today are very artsy. Like it takes a lot of skill and a lot of talent. Like this takes a hell of a lot of skill. I just don't like the fact that it's so unrealistic and so unnatural, which I mean, look at me sitting here with a full face of makeup on with like pink eyes right now, talking about natural makeup. And I think a really subtle flick and just a really tiny little wing is just such an understated look. It does so much for your eyes without, you know, 
basically drawing on your entire eyelid like a super thick line and just covering all of your eyelid space and going out to here with it the effect of wing liner is completely taken away when that's all you see like you don't even see your lashes next up is <laughs> something i've talked about quite a bit and that is an over dramatic super cut crease and i mean like super cut i'm gonna put up an extreme case of what i'm talking about again a lot of talent a lot of skill a lot of practice and a lot of time and this is like true artistry to me but this to me is just so overkill the blending of this is incredible like this is blending to the gods but i just i'm not digging it but the next thing is a blinding highlight i know we finally got here so i feel very hypocritical for this one because this is something that i was rocking for a real long time up until just recently and even now like i have a hard time holding back my heavy hand because i'm so used to just going overboard and not knowing when to stop whenever i apply a lot of highlight now i'm just like uh pores next trend that i want to die which maybe it will maybe it won't because i'm pretty sure i talked about this last year in my trends i think should die video and that's unicorns what the hell is up with adults and unicorns okay number one they ain't real and number two we're adults but now they're putting unicorns on things where the inside has nothing to do with unicorns like it's literally just a packaging gimmick like it's just to draw you in the products aren't even good half the time so this trend is one that is a little bit more serious it's not as sassy and funny and entertaining like this is a very serious thing that I think should end immediately and that is the overwhelming amount of lip fillers and plastic surgery in instagrammers like instagram influencers it is ridiculous i just think it sends such a disgusting message that if you don't like something about yourself you can just fix it you don't have to you don't have to live with it you don't have to build the confidence up and love yourself like you can only love yourself and appreciate who you are and what you look like if you change yourself like if you change what you don't like about yourself instead of changing how you look at yourself instead of changing how much you love yourself and respecting yourself it's just it's gross to me all i see on instagram are influencers who have so much lip filler that you're not even sure if what you're looking at are lips like are lips actually in there and then their bodies are so plastic surgery that like is is are, are what's real and what's not i don't know and what it does is it makes people compare them to actual people like actual real flaws so they look at this influencer and deem them perfect they have a perfect face perfect lips perfect body they have no flaws and then they compare it to this person over here for instance me who doesn't have that and it makes them judge people so much harsher because it gives them unrealistic expectations because you don't know what's real and what's not and not only is it sending a bad message but can you imagine these people's parents who see their kid who clearly doesn't love themselves enough and doesn't love the traits that were passed on to them enough that they want to completely change themselves like get rid of their heritage get rid of the traits that make them look like their mom or their dad or their grandparents or their sisters and brothers you know they're completely getting rid of the features that they were born with and i just think that's so depressing it's so sad and i just feel like there's such a deep amount of confidence issues and self-esteem issues to to do the large amount that a lot of these influencers do it's really sad actually next up we're gonna get a little bit more lighthearted again so the whole rainbow galaxy cloud like landscape eye makeup and face makeup is just so extra and overboard and again this is one of those things i think it takes an extreme extreme amount of talent and skill and patience to be able to do this i mean this goes way beyond just makeup artistry like this is like bob ross shit like this this gets into a whole nother realm i just think about the amount of time and effort that goes into that and then having to take it off and plus where are you gonna go with clouds on your eyes or rainbows on your eyes or a starry knot on your forehead oh my god this list is never ending the next trend that i hope dies which i don't know if it will anytime soon but again it's just something that one person started it and then everybody on my feed's doing it now and it's so annoying i just i don't learn from it but what i'm talking about is the pictorial trend of people doing their eye makeup and taking pictures of each step I just don't learn from that i don't have the patience to sit there and try to figure out what they're doing in each picture i just can't learn by looking at pictures in like 
descending order is just, it's so stupid. And just the fact that everyone and their mother's doing it is so annoying. Next up is pouring oils or dripping things on your face. This is something that's been going on all year round and I am so sick of it. It's so annoying. It's messy. It makes no sense. It's not aesthetically pleasing. It's just so dumb to me. Destroying makeup videos are so wasteful. And yes, I know that once you buy something yourself, you can do whatever you want with it. It's yours to destroy, it's yours to use, it's yours to run over with your car or whatever you want to do with it. But it's just such a wasteful mentality. And again, what kind of message is that sending to people? Because it makes no sense. Like, why do you want to destroy things just for a video? And why do people watch it? It makes no sense. And the last thing that I hope dies, which it won't because people just don't seem to learn from their mistakes, but that is not applying self tanner properly. If you're gonna do it, at least let it look good. Like if you can't do it properly to where it looks natural and it looks not splotchy and cakey and orange, what are you doing? YouTubers started this where it's like, it doesn't matter as long as I'm tan, like I can be a big splotchy Oompa Loompa, but as long as I'm tan, it's okay. I would rather be pale and pasty than orange and splotchy and just like, it looks like I've got some kind of skin disease. So if you can't do it right, don't do it at all. That is it for trends I hope stay in 2018, even though I know they're not actually going to. I hope you guys found this video entertaining and fun to watch. Again, this is all in good fun. It's all lighthearted. Makeup is not that serious. And honestly, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to do this video because I'm to a point now where I really don't care about the trends. I see them and they're annoying. I see them over and over. And you know, again, it's monkey see monkey do, but I'm just to a point where I don't really care about them. I know I'm not gonna actually do them so they don't bother me as much. So what are some trends from 2018 that you hope stay in the year and that you hope don't follow us in 2019? Um, leave them in the comments below. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.